Can you play DSD on a MacBook Pro? This is a good question. It comes to us from Ira in Silver Spring, Maryland. And Ira writes, Hey Paul, I read one of your posts about using a Mac Mini as a server and using Ottervana software. To try it out before committing to a dedicated DAC, I got a copy of Ottervana and bought a DSD download of Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra from Acoustic Sounds. It's Chad's company. And good stuff over there. Uh, I have a Synthesis Roma DC14 CD player that has several inputs to the deck, including USB, that it's supposed to be capable of DSD up to 5.6 megahertz. Ottervana is only sending a PCM signal. Someone on the Ottervana, Ottervana message board says that's because the Mac operating system can't send a DSD signal. Is that true? Yes, it is true. It is true. Uh, Macs, Windows, they can't handle a DSD signal. Absolutely true. So, but Ottervana can. So how does that make sense? Okay. In order to send a DSD signal over a standard operating computer that does not accept or recognize a, uh, a, a a PDM stream, which is what, what DSD is, a one-bit stream, we have to do something to it. We got to got to make it like a, uh, a sheep in, uh, or is it, no, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> I guess a sheep in wolf's clothing wouldn't do, <laughs> that'd be silly. Anyway, we, we need to make a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. So that means that we're going to take this DSD stream and we're going to put it into a package that the computer can recognize and doesn't know that it's actually DSD. And that package is called DOP, capital D, small o, capital P. And it stands for DSD over PCM. And if you go into Ottervana and do a little research on the, on just, just Google it, if you do a little research, you'll find that there's, I forgot where it is, it's somewhere in, in Ottervana where you have to turn on uh, your DOP. And what that does is it takes the DSD stream and it breaks it into little bits of, of it. so you've got this stream of bits, right? So the program automatically grabs a little chunk of the DSD and around it uh, puts a header and uh, tells it that, hey, what, what's coming is PCM. And, but it's not. But the computer doesn't care. The computer looks at it and just says, oh, I see this is PCM. I don't, I'm not going to do anything with the PCM. I'm just going to deliver it out the USB port. I don't, you tell me it's PCM, I believe you. And so it just puts these little chunks with these headers and it looks like PCM to the computer. So it passes it right along, right out the USB port, right into your DAC. And then your DAC says, aha, it's DOP. I know what to do with that. I throw the header out. I recombine all those little bits of DSD. Bingo, you're playing DSD. And there's no downside to it. So it's not like we've mucked with the data. We haven't. So it's still the same pure DSD stream. It's just gone through some, some, some Hazari to, to, uh, to get it to fool the Apple computer or your Windows computer. So good luck with that. Hope that helps. Just remember, D-O-P, and you'll be just fine.